Greetings, Modern Model Maniacs! Panzerman Bill, Panzerman's Bunker! Bet you thought I forgot about this one! Eh, the M32 recovery vehicle by Testers at Telluride! Eh, I finally finished it! Eh. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Alright, over to the phone! Oh! Alright, old school! Old school kit! Build her up! I actually had to cut open the uh, hatch and put a drum made a spool in there and everything put some uh it's leather uh linen it's linen thread and wax linen thread for the actual cable all right and it's you can see a little better shot there this is such the tracks were so bad on this kit that i actually had to put lead weight lead weight in it to hold it down and then to hold the tracks on the return rollers i had to put pins across so that's an old school trick to uh, keep the tracks in, in check. And I started using the Tamiya figures, painting them up. There they are painted up. Started to paint them up anyway. There they are, a little bit, looking a little bit better. Mm, looking a little bit better. Mm. There's a better shot of the cut open hatch. Dirtied up the floor, added some uh, you know, shackle on some wrenches. Just didn't dirty it up some. Alright, working on the lattice, I had to use wire to replace the rungs. Alright. They had a, uh, the whole back uh, cable spool that's inside this area was the terrible. It was just a pin, so I actually recreated it, scratch built it. There it is, adding some uh, details to it at the front. You actually see the fair, uh, foul weather flange around the machine gun some other posts and details I added come on eh. all right come on there we go eh, it's messing with me all right they're starting to go together a little bit better start working on the turret Add some bolts to it, some weld detail, uh, mortar rounds from the Tamiya kit, some resin ammo boxes. Had to make some storage uh, racks. Had to do the uh, the uh, re the rear pulley system that went out the back of the turret. Had to cut a hole and everything. The kit didn't have it. There's a little better shot. A little better shot. There it is with the turret in place. Alright. See some of the more details I'd added. The uh Tamai though I replaced the kit mortar with a Tamaya mortar. I did a better footings because the kit uh, didn't didn't have the correct footings. You see that flange I added there. And uh post for these like little cleats right there on the side. And I had to putty up around the, the uh the stay brackets for the uh booms because it was a pretty bad fit. But we're progressing. Progressing. I added these uh, side brackets for the uh, sprockets, and you can see I added the uh, workstation on the front here with the vise. A little better shot over here. Oh, I added the uh, replaced the kit machine gun with the academy part. All right. I think I showed you this earlier. I actually made uh, cable clamps. Out of a uh, wire and styrene for the uh, whole back cables. Very tedious. Yeah, but it was tedious work, but you, you did all right. Yeah. There's the uh, stuff that went on the inside the turret, the mortar rounds, the first aid kit, the fire extinguisher, the ammo boxes. There's everything hooked up. Got the nail clippers hanging there for a counterweight. Yeah. Scratch built hook, um, scratch built uh, shackle, and scratch built cable clamps. There it is all hooked up. Also replaced the kit tools with better ones from the spare parts. The brackets around the uh, spare road wheels, those are the kit parts that look terrible. So I used regular road wheels and I made a new brackets there. And the uh, return roller spares right up here. I carved off the kit parts because they look terrible and I made new ones out of styrene. Mm-hmm. There's everything in place. 
You can actually see right here um, all the uh, right here this towing bars and everything I had to replace the brackets and everything to held them on and there's like little missing flange pieces here for the fender that I added you can see a little better the workstation up on the fenders and the, the vise I made alright there's everything looking together going together looking nice started painting everything up there's the two figures in there from Tamaya Started working on the knocked out turret. I had to scratch built the interior, then destroy it. Eh, that's right here, hurt. There's the radio that busted up. Yo, Vols, the radio looking good. Destroy it. This is from the testers, uh, Kit Sherman. There's the bottom of the uh, turret basket. The whole blow through from the 88 hitting it. And then the, the rest of the basket added in. Here's the other parts of the interior all destroyed. Better shots of it. Putting it all together. Even machine gun and everything. I had to add all the parts and then destroy it. There's this, uh, spreader hooks for to hold it to the crane hook. There it's hanging off the crane. Started doing some more weathering to it. Oh, this is one here. Had to add a lot of stowage to the kit drums and ammo boxes and tarps and such and a ladder and then some packs I'm going to hang on the side there's everything in place oh one last little detail over here on the Tasca kit it had this small little cable system that they used to winding it around the sprocket to raise and lower it so I had this real fine cable all the way down and attaches down here with some more clamps. All right, and there's all. Uh, oh, this was <laughs> the spreader hook. Try to super glue a spreader hook together. It's tedious. It was crazy, but I had to do it because it was a pain in the butt to keep attaching it. Enough, blah blah blah. Here's the kit. <laughs> Turned out pretty good, fellas. Pretty good. There's the figure from uh, Mini Art I added, and the Tamaya figures up front. There's the blown up turret hanging from the hook. All the stowage in there. The ladders, the drums, and everything. Packs and a helmet hanging off the side of the uh, turret. Now, the, uh, I guess these are like cleats, big cleats that they would stick under the front here when they were pulling a heavy load. The kit wanted you to put them back here, but I wanted to put all the stowage here, so I put them on the front and I used chain to tie them off. The two sets of cleats. Alright, let's get a better look. Can't move around too much, fellas, because this thing just starts swinging like a pendulum. Eh, it's gonna break stuff. I'll give you some good shots. It's so damn big that you can't get all of it in one shot. I think she turned out pretty good, pretty good. M32 recovery vehicle hauling away a blown up turret. Oh, there she is. Pretty proud with it. And I was at the Northern Virginia model show this weekend. And this won first place gold medal in a very tough category of 35th scale AFVs. And I can't believe that this did this won against some great work that was on the table. Great looking Panthers from my friends up in Pennsylvania. Other good looking uh, Shermans and stuff from guys down in Virginia. So I was pretty blown away that this got a first place. But I've been working on it so long and I wanted you guys to see the culmination of it. I'll be taking it to other shows. Maybe up to Danbury and Amps in the fall. Alright, keep building, keep having fun. Till next time, Panzer Man built. Panzer Man's bunkers ain't. I'll be the same, my diamond and hair and woo! Puppies are tired. <laughs> See you, folks. Waka waka.